Oh, hi, children, and welcome to another story time with Mr. Bowens and Mr. Bunny. I hope you're all staying home and staying safe. What's that, Mr. Bunny? How can we stay safe? That's a great question. I've got a book here for us about it. It's by Sherry J. Miners from Free Spirit Publishing. It's called Be Careful and Stay Safe. I think this might help us all Stay a little safer and be a little happier about it. I want to be safe. I'm learning to take care of myself in many situations. How's that little girl being safe? Yep, she's wearing a helmet. That's very safe. One way to stay safe is to listen to grown-ups I trust and follow directions. What do you think the grown-up is telling the boy? Right, be careful when working with toasters and any electrical appliance. I think about what I'm doing and use things carefully. I can be aware of things that could hurt me. Before I try something, I can find out if it's safe. I stay away from things that are dangerous. I will learn to use some things when I'm older. When I go someplace with grown-ups or a buddy, I stay with that person. Just like we do in our hallway when we hold our partner's hands. If we lose each other, I can keep calm. I can stay where I am and wait to be found. Someone who can help me will be looking for me. There he is. He stayed right where he got lost. And there's the officer helping the family. There's always helpers around, and we're gonna learn how to look for them. I can talk to someone who works there. Community helpers usually wear a badge, a name tag, or special clothes. Can you think of someone in our school who's a special helper? Hmm. That's right, if you said Mr. Washington or Miss Briggs, they are special helpers. <clears throat> I can ask for help whenever I need it. What kind of help do you think he needed? Yeah, looks like he got stuck and needed an adult to help him down. I can also call for help in an emergency. What number can we call if we need help? That's right, 911. I like to make new friends. Most people are nice. Still, I don't talk to strangers unless I'm with grown ups I trust. If I don't know someone or I don't feel comfortable, I can ignore the person and walk away. If any person does something that doesn't seem safe or right, I can say no, get away to a safe place, and tell someone I trust. Who do you think they're telling? That's right, their mom. And you can tell teachers and police officers and firefighters. Sometimes things might happen that I don't expect. I can plan ahead and be ready for an emergency. It's kind of like the emergency we're in now. Does your pantry look like that? Yes, they've got some extra food so they don't need to go out as much. That's smart thinking. Then if something happens, I may have what I need 
and people I trust to help me. I'm learning many ways to keep myself safe. Here they made a chart with the word safe on it. S-A-F-E. S stands for stay away from danger. A, ask for help. F, follow directions and use things carefully. And E, emergencies, have a plan. When I'm careful, I help people around me stay safe too. And that helps us get along. Well, thanks for joining me, boys and girls. I hope that helps you be a little safer at home. Bye.